FBI's investigation into possible criminal activity within the Hope County government took another turn today when we learned two employees are now out of a job. Our David Hurst has been on the story from the start. And David, we understand commissioners want to see an independent investigation. Yes, Sean, Maggie, county commissioners held an emergency meeting here this morning in order to move forward, in order to have that independent investigation. They say they want to shed some light on any potential criminal activity within this county. In the ball shop, you hear all kinds of stuff. Glenn Tompkins says the past few days, all that's been talked about at town barbershop is what's going on with their county government. Nobody really knows what's going on, really. What he says he does know is that he's glad the state is stepping in to look into any potential criminal activity. I'm excited that if it is found out, <laughs> you know, I'd like it to straighten up around this place. The investigation became public on Monday when the SBI served the county a search warrant to go through employee time records. The Hope County Sheriff says he asked the SBI to step in after receiving a tip a few months ago about potential criminal activity within the county. Commissioners say a county HR employee has resigned and a sheriff's office employee has been fired as a result of that SBI investigation. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of bad information out there. So what we want to do as a board is to just make this brief statement about where we are now. The board also is in negotiations with a private financial crime investigation firm to perform an audit alongside the SBI. We want to bring his firm on to help us to kind of get to the bottom of what's going on here. The sheriff is calling this a serious criminal investigation and he says he would not be surprised if several county employees go to prison as a result. I think whoever is involved, they all need to be brought up and charged or whatever needs to be done to clean it up. And this afternoon, one of the commissioners posted on Facebook that that tip that sheriff received alleged that one employee manipulated timesheets for another employee to make it appear and that they would be paid for hours that they did not work. Reporting live in Rayford, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina. David.